today we'll discuss sql join introduction so let's start with sql joins sql joins the sql join class is used to combine the record from two or more tables in a database it's just very natural that you, why you join something just because you need information not from a single table you need a information which is a collection of information gathered from more than one table a join is join is a means for combining field from two tables by using value common to each other and why we coin join because we need some common values or on the basis of some common values we join our table let's start reason for joining a table very important we join two or more than two table if information needed is scattered among the different table it's a very common thing if suppose i need a information and that information is coming from the combination of more than one table for that i need to join those table only then i'll be able to find the information else i won't be able to find the information let's begin find the name of employee having salary greater than 25000 okay if see see this table if i take this query find name of employee having salary greater than 25000 now i am asking you the question if i need the name of employee having salary greater than 25 Hundred twenty-five thousand. Will I need both the table and or, or only one table will be sufficient? Then my answer is, my dear, only one table is sufficient now. Only one table is sufficient because I need names of employee having salary greater than twenty-five thousand. Then twenty greater, twenty salary greater than twenty-five thousand. Spit will come. Shane will come. Shane will not come because I need twenty greater than twenty-five thousand. Ricky will come and Tom will come. So these are three employee who are having salary greater than what twenty five thousand. So do I need two table? No. From one table, I'm getting the information. Now comes second question. Find the department of employee having ID equal to three. Now I need the department ID. Now I find the department of employee. employ i need the name of department having department id equal to 3 so in that case do i need two tables i am looking for name of department having department id 3 so department id 3 is of training department id 3 is of training then department id 3 is of training then i need only one table only department through only department i am getting the information no need of combining the table now comes the question see the beauty find the name of employee working in training department so i need name of employee now see the question i need name of employee who are working in training department in imp table i have a privilege of finding only name and in department table i can find only departments now i need what find the name of employee find the name of employee working in training department in this case i need this table also and department table also so find the name of employee so if i talk about smith if i talk about id2 id2 is working in a training department and id2 is of smith and id ID five, ID five is working in a training department, and ID five is Tom. So the two answer is two answers is what Smith and John, Smith and John. So could you please tell me that how I was able to calculate this? Only just because I have combined this two table. Only just because I have combined this two table. This combination is known as joins. this combination is known as join so in this query join is not required join is not required in this query also join is j o i n join was not required but in this question to answer this question i need to join two tables fine so i have tried my level best to explain you why we need to join a table i have tried my level best to explain you why we need to join a table next move further okay then types of join in dbms the first join in dbms is inner join 
inner join is a type of join return only matching rows so inner join returns only matching row enable maximum of 256 can you imagine enables a maximum of 256 tables to be joined at same time using inner join you can combine 256 tables at a time and this is the Venn diagram of inner join that is only a matching only a matching only a matching rows you are getting inner join you are getting only a matching rows fine then types of inner join cross join I'll explain you everything very clearly we'll, we'll study each and everything in a separate video cross join equi join natural join and self join so the type of inner join are these joins and what are type of join inner join is one of the type and in inner join we have cross join equi join natural join and self join now comes types of join in dbms outer join so what is outer join outer join written all the matching rows in inner joins we get only the matching rows only the matching rows but in outer joins written all the matching rows plus non matching rows from one or both table so see the fantastic thing in inner join you get only the matching rows from the two table but in outer join you get matching rows apart from that you get non matching rows either from one table or second table or both the table can be performed only on two tables so outer join can be performed only on two tables so just make it sure that inner join can be applied on 256 table while outer join can be applied only on two tables fine so just remember this very clear carefully now comes left outer join so what is left outer join you get the matching part apart from this you are getting all the information of left part so these are two tables suppose this is table one and this is table two so what answer you are getting in left join you are getting the matching part these are the matching part apart from this you are getting non matching part of which table left table because of this it is called left join then right join what is right join you are getting getting the matching part apart from name it if this is table T1 and this is table T2, apart from this, you are getting the information of right table, which is non-matching. So in left, left outer join, this is called left outer join. Left outer join. This is called left outer join. And this is called right outer join. So in right outer join, what you get, you get the matching as well as non-matching of right table. And last one is full outer join. You get the matching information apart from them, this left information of non-matching and right information of non-matching. So this is called full outer join. This is called full outer join. Fine. So I tried my level best to explain you what is join why we need to join two table what are different types of joins so i told you one type is inner join inner join is a join inner join is a join if i show you inner join is a join which give you only the matching rows which gives you only the matching rows and there are these four types of inner join and after that i told you informed you about outer join there are three type of outer join left outer join full outer join and right outer join so thank you so much for